This is an explanation question. We need an answer choice that explains the difference in rates charged by this company. It's mentioned that this company sets its rates as per the length of the trip, the number of vehicles needed and the size and weight of the goods transported. So these are the three factors, length, number of vehicles and size and weight of the goods transported. However, in case of this client here, this company is charging more for transporting the raw material than it is charging the finished products to its destination despite the number of trucks and the distance being the same. Answer choice A talks about volume of goods being transported growing. However, this is a factor that has already been included in the paragraph here. The paragraph says that the number of trucks remains the same and therefore answer choice A does not explain the paradox. Answer choice C talks about the cost of transporting the raw material encouraging this client to move some of the transportation service in-house. This is just an operational detail. This does not do anything to explain why the cost is more for transporting the raw materials vis-a-vis -vis transporting the finished goods. Answer choice D talks about the charges increasing during the colder months compared to the hotter months. However, this is a detail that applies to all the goods. The difference in the cost of transportation between raw materials and finished goods is something that this answer choice does not explain. Whether all of this client's packaging material is transported by this company in question or whether only some of it is transported by this vendor here is all operational detail. This does not explain the difference in the cost. Let's confirm answer choice B now. Answer choice B says that the weight of the raw material is greater than the weight of the finished products. So, we know the rates depend on the length of the trip. We know that the length remains the same. The rates depend on the number of vehicles needed. We know that the number of trucks remain the same. And the rate also depends on size and weight of the goods transported. See, nothing has been said here about the weight of the goods transported. Answer choice B by suggesting that the weight of the raw material used is greater than the weight of the finished goods explains why the cost for transporting the raw material is higher. B is the correct answer choice.